This is the impact of continuous skills development and education and training on large businesses. So some positives and negatives. Remember, whenever we discuss impact, it's always advantages, disadvantages. So large businesses have a human resources department that is specifically dedicated to skills training and development. Human resources experts ensure that training programs are relevant to increased customer satisfaction and also having the ability to afford specialized and skilled employees. So large businesses having bigger budgets, they can attract more skilled workers, they have a few more fringe benefits, and it's just a more well overall attractive company to work for. Large businesses could conduct could conduct skills audits to establish the competency and education levels of their staff, you know, just to see who are skilled employees, where skills are lacking, and take the necessary steps and precautions to ensure that everyone is up to speed. Remember, skilled work staff will be more productive, more effective, and thus increasing profitability. You may be able to hire qualified trainers to train employees on a regular basis, so having, you know, regular workshops. But the negatives? Poor communication systems in large businesses specifically may prevent effective training from taking place. Now, trained employees may leave for better jobs after they have gained more skills. So a lot of companies, you know, after providing a lot of training, they would add some kind of restraint of trade stipulation in the employment contract. This could also demotivate employees if they don't receive recognition for the training. And employees who specialize in more narrowly defined jobs, they may become quite frustrated and demotivated at the entire situation. Now, employees may not be aware of the level of competency they should meet in order to achieve their targets. And it also may be a bit difficult to monitor and evaluate the effectiveness of the training. Um, it may not be so easy to see. It may not reflect on the profitably, profitability of the company. And yeah, that could be a major, major drawback on this impact of continuous skills development, because where do we see the progress? How do we see it? How do we measure it? And if we can't measure it, how could we possibly evaluate it?